hello there uh, i'm gonna draw this planet and a couple of planets near it it might well be a moon it looks like it's a landable moon of possibly the gas giant that's up there there seemed to be um yeah there's a there's a there's a gas giant in this it's just not there yet imagine the that bit of paper at the top it's got a circle on it anyway so yeah and um i'm trying to do the nice textured surface of the ground there with like someone's slightly moldy piece of bread me grays and me light blue and whatnot to give it a little bit of a natural sort of look about it it looks like it's a rocky planet you can um you can land on a few different types you can land on metal planets and uh rocky ones and icy ones you can't land on all of them but that's so well over half the planets in the galaxy obviously ranging up from tiny pebbles you can't land on the tiny pebbles the plan is that i try and give a, a sense of distance which is always useful in space because there's often a certain amount of distance involved in pictures of space look there's 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 the milky way oh and look one of the planets there it is distant planet yeah kind of a sandstony reddish rock one and i see a um gray brown stripy one there's a bunch of different types of gas giants there's um class one gas giant that sort of looks like jupiter or saturn and you've got uh, class twos uh hydrogen and helium so so they're like uh they're a bit rarer i think i've I, I know they make more money when you pay them in the class twos not as much as like something terraformable or an earth-like or an ammonia world but yeah they make a bit more class three is most common and they're like the purples and blue ones that you get and uh and they've normally got rings and whatnot and you you probably uh quite likely to find the odd hot spot mining hot spot in there as well um yeah you've got your class class fours uh they look great but i, I don't think there's as many of them and uh and class fives i i, I have seen them i have seen them they, they look kind of funky they, they're hot i think hot ones and there's other ones you know the ones with the ammonia and the, the water giants and the and your helium giants and stuff like that but yeah water giants i always think are amazingly beautiful ones they really look good but yeah I, I quite like exploration and it's one of my my favorite parts of the game is to discover the different places i loved it when i i, I went and saw the, uh, the bright green neon planets and uh, there was an orange one but i didn't get there before they uh, fixed it it was considered to be a little bit too orange to be realistic <laughs> which is a bit of a shame but never mind i'm trying to make them look round <laughs> no well we'll see anyway so yeah yeah there's the special ways you land on different types of planets i know that uh, the really heavy planets that you're just supposed to just completely throttle down and let and let yourself drift forward and just apply the occasional bit of forward thrust to just to just eke your way down and you, you never go down if you can help it because obviously your up thrusters are working hell for leather the whole time to try and keep you from crashing, plummeting. And uh, yeah, so you have to very, very slowly nurse yourself down using your forward thrusters and uh, allowing nature to very gradually take its course. Anyway, so there we go. I'm starting to put in this asp in front of. There it goes. Look, isn't it perky? It's uh, one of my favourite ones to draw. I like those diagonal boxes on each side that the, the flame comes out of. Uh, they're just quite satisfyingly shaped rhombuses and uh, I, I like the uh, the wings like little antennae <laughs> it's a nice ship as an ass but i can see why so many people like it i quite enjoyed doing the kind of the bloom of the, uh, the 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 pink almost of that 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 fiery hot engine at the back as well that was good oh well, thank you for watching and listening i really appreciate it and i'm sure i will do another one soon <laughs> bye